some cars are almost too inventive for their own good. Some cars push what we know a car can be to a whole new extreme. And it's not always a good extreme. Some car ideas are so bonkers, you have to think to yourself, who even came up with that? These are the craziest concept cars in the world. Number 15. Mercedes-Benz Bio. In 2010, at the Los Angeles Design Challenge, Mercedes-Benz Advanced Design Studios in California shocked all those present with a vehicle unlike anything they had produced before. It was revolutionary for one reason. It was designed to integrate with the ecosystem. Huh? Strange, right? The Mercedes-Benz biome, as it was called, grows in an organic environment from seeds that have been sown in a nursery. Once it's on the road, it emits oxygen, and it can then be composted or used as building materials at the end of its working life. There wouldn't be a scrapyard in sight for this innovative vehicle. The Los Angeles Design Challenge put the call out for safe, comfortable, compact cars with a first-class design and good handling. Mercedes-Benz answered the call with with ultralight biofiber materials, an 875.5 pound weight, and an innovative design. Biofiber is grown in a Mercedes-Benz nursery and collects energy from the sun to be stored in a liquid chemical bond. The interior comes from one seed and the exterior from another. The wheels are also grown in four separate seeds. Our technology is now that advanced that we're able to grow cars in our garden. What on earth is next? Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. This madcap car looks like something from a video game like Cruisin' Blast, but no. This is very real concept art for a very real car that Audi are in the process of developing. Almost every car manufacturer is trying to develop levitating cars right now. And this is what Audi's prototype will hopefully wind up looking like. Crazy stuff. They're hoping to have these things reach markets sometime between 2040 and 2049. If the prototype comes to pass, would you buy one? Or is the concept just too crazy for you? As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Alfa Romeo by Bertoni a lot of vehicles have been designed and produced for car shows that ultimately never made it into production. One such vehicle that many people wish had made it was the Alfa Romeo Bat 5, 7, and 9, produced by Bertoni. The goal was to advance vehicles' aerodynamics far beyond what they had achieved before. The Italy-based firm Carrozzeria Bertoni and Alfa Romeo worked together to build three designs that were called Bat, which stands for Berlina Aerodynamica Technica. They were debuted at the Turin Motor Show in 1954 and were met with awe. The Bat 5 had a beautiful metallic charcoal, tapered body, enclosed wheels, and a cabin in the shape of a teardrop. Flowing back to the roof to a raised spine were rear windows, which then transitioned into the tail. Every part of this vehicle had been designed with aerodynamics in mind, including the inset grille, nose, bowed front fenders, and slotted vents that sat behind both front wheels. Even the tail fin was something special, with angled cuts to relieve air pressure. Bat 7 and Bat 9 included similar technologies, with each one taking a slightly different take on aerodynamics than the last. Number 13. Citroen 1919 Concept Car when you see the Citroen 1919 concept car for the first time, you'll be rubbing your eyes and wondering if you accidentally time-traveled in your sleep. It's so futuristic that it's hard to imagine that it would ever look at home on our roads. The concept car, first shown in 2019, will blow your mind. 
It has a pod-like cabin, a blue and black color scheme, and retro-style mudguards surrounding huge wheels. The headlights are more of an afterthought, and it has a fully electric motor. Even more surprising is that the Citroen is fully autonomous with LiDAR sensors. Drivers can take the wheel if they want to, but they can also just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Another surprising feature is its vibrant purple interior contrasted against a white console and steering wheel. This car is definitely something else. It won't take long for you to notice that the steering wheel is not like one you'd see in your own car, given that it's a narrow rectangle. With unobstructed views from the cabin through the shallow windscreen, not to mention an overall moon buggy styling, it's hard not to think this is one of the craziest concept vehicles of all time. Number 12. Toyota LQ I can't help it, I actually grimaced seeing Toyota's addition to the Tokyo Motor Show in 2019. There's no denying it's one of the most advanced concept vehicles we've ever seen, but there's also no denying it's not exactly easy on the eye. The new Toyota LQ concept is a level 4 autonomous driving vehicle. This means that it can drive you around with minimal issues without almost any input from the driver. It even comes with an AI system called Yui, which was developed in partnership with the Toyota Research Institute. There's certainly a lot to unpack with this vehicle. It's a hatchback with air-conditioned seats, modern styling to the extreme, and a backside that you probably haven't seen on any other car before. It has floor-to-ceiling glass, a wholly covered rear wheel, and diagonal headlights. Even more interesting is that it has a valet parking feature. That would be a redeeming feature on any car you weren't entirely sold on. Even if the style doesn't grab your attention for the right reasons, the convenience of never having to drive yourself again will make you give it a second look. Number 11. Audi RSQ if you're going to see a one-of-a-kind vehicle in any setting, the most common is in films, especially futuristic ones. For the first time in history, Audi created a car specifically for a movie, iRobot, set in 2035. So you can only imagine it's no typical Audi. The 2004 Audi RS Q concept car has extreme character, but also retains features so that you know it's an Audi. It has a single grill and mid-engine but that's where the normalities kind of end. This Audi is designed for the storyline of having a police department race it through the streets of Chicago. It does so not on wheels, but on spheres. The doors also open in a butterfly style, with both of them fixed in place with rear hinges attached to the body's C posts. According to the designers and engineers who worked on it, the spheres were perhaps amongst the most challenging features. They run in wheel arches of a similar shape and look more like speakers you'd find in the doors of your car rather than wheels. The Audi also has a laminate fiberglass body, lunar silver paint, and an aluminum hood cover. And I like it. Where can we get our hands on one? Number 10. Mercedes-Benz Bionic Car Mercedes-Benz is known for trying to be a trendsetter, but are we forgetting a concept car they produced that was so ugly that marine creatures everywhere were crying into their fins? The Mercedes-Benz Bionic was first shown at the 2005 Daimler Chrysler Innovation Symposium in Washington, with the whole idea behind it being influenced by nature. I can think of prettier parts of nature than a boxfish, but what do I know? And it really does look like a boxfish. It has an odd yet aerodynamic front on it with a panoramic roof, small yet tall cabin, and cameras instead of side mirrors. The car also boasted a 2-liter turbo diesel engine, 138 horsepower, and automatic transmission. According to Mercedes, the Bionic was developed with the help of Bionic experts to link growth principles in nature to automotive engineering. I'd like to say it was a success, but it's just so hard to ignore its aesthetics. Its vibrant green color scheme, slit-like headlights, and body-like a manatee just make me pleased that this car never made it into production. Number 9. Peugeot Movie it looks like something you'd see attached to a ride at Disneyland, but it's actually a car. It's the 2005 Peugeot Movie, to be exact. 
For the third Peugeot design competition, automotive styling enthusiasts were called upon to design a futuristic Peugeot of their dreams. One man to take on that challenge was Andre Costa, who ended up winning the competition with his environmentally friendly city car called Movie. He was awarded the Le Griff Trophy, but that wasn't even the main prize. He also won a scale model of his car based on the specs of his winning design. Most of the judges were moved by Movie, which had so many exciting innovations that it really could be what some of our vehicles look like in the future. The doors house the rear wheels and they swivel to allow entry. The ginormous wheel dimensions also allow for reduced energy consumption. The small car has just two seats but its small size means it's perfect for city driving. Who knows, the movie may just be coming to a car yard near you in the future. Number 8. BMW i Inside Future any day now, BMW engineers are going to come along and finish the concept car they started. Wait, what? It is finished? Well, it may not look like it, but the BMW i Inside Future is a futuristic car that has been designed to be safe, cozy, and, well, futuristic. It was unveiled in 2017 with an explanation for its design. Apparently, it had been made to cater to each passenger and driver's requirements while also allowing room for up to four people. The interior has separate zones, which means everyone can travel how they like or not travel at all. The interior's more like your living room than the inside of a vehicle. It can be an office, recreational space, or somewhere you sit to catch up on homework. You can then drive it like the car it actually is. You can be the active driver or let the car drive itself and enjoy a complex display and control system that makes you feel like you're in the distant future. I hope you have enjoyed this glimpse into the future. It also has hollow active touch, which detects your movements without any button pressing or anything. Doesn't get much more futuristic than I Inside Future. Number 7. Renault EZ Ultimo there have been a lot of futuristic vehicles designed in recent years, but I've gotta say, the Renault EZ Ultimo at the 2018 Paris Motor Show is probably one of the most beautiful, at least in my opinion. It is an autonomous electric robo-vehicle with striking two-tone bodywork in a black and green color scheme. Around 600 diamond patterns make up the vehicle's upper bodywork, while champagne coloring makes up the doors and rear wheel area. The Diamonds work as a one-way mirror to offer the passengers complete privacy. Inside the cabin, it's definitely more of a living room than a car. It has a herringbone wooden floor, marble bands, velvet armchairs, and a bench. Just think executive office slash living room and you'll get the idea. The cabin is also lit with pale gold lamps and low-angled lighting along the floor. Whether you're driving it or simply sitting in it catching up on office work, this car will blow you away. It is equal parts future and sophistication. According to the description unveiled with the car at the Motor Show, it promised to offer a premium and immersive mobility experience for a single trip, an hour, or a day. Number 6. DSXE Tense if the DSXE Tense doesn't shock you, or you say you've seen something like it before, then you're a liar. This car is so unique and truly remarkable that it's just implausible you've seen anything like it on the road. It is, after all, a concept car. The DSX e Tense is a dream car that its creators said is as light as a feather and as silent as a breeze. It's asymmetric with three seats and offers you the option of choosing the driving mode you prefer. Now that's unique. Perhaps one of its most exciting features is that it can recover its original form after it's been involved in an impact. It also has light curtains that you can adjust to suit the car and your surroundings. This all-electric car has 540 horsepower or 1,360 horsepower in circuit mode, along with a carbon fiber chassis and an advanced active system for deceleration, traction, and grip. 
You can access the cockpit via the Elytra door that has leather weave and carbon fiber. Once you're in the driver's seat, you can feel like you're behind the wheel of a racing car. If it wasn't for the stunning two-tone blue interior with leather for luxury and comfort, you might just think you are. Number 5. Aston Martin Lagonda Aston Martin officially launched the Lagonda brand at the Geneva Motor Show in 2014. At the time, the brand's first car was the $1 million Taraf with 540 horsepower and a V12 engine under the carbon fiber body. With the Taraf, Aston Martin was well and truly testing the waters. At the 2018 show, they relaunched Lagonda with an even more exciting car than the first. This concept car featured autonomous technology, as a lot of them do, but there weren't too many outrageous features. And that's for one very exciting reason. The design features of the newly launched concept car would be featuring on two new Lagonda models to be put into production very soon. It has a retractable steering wheel, rear doors that are back hinged, and rotating front seats. These features probably won't be what you see on the actual released models, but a few other exciting ones will be. The new Lagonda will most likely have an electric powertrain, with Aston Martin wanting Lagonda to be the first luxury brand to sell purely zero-emission vehicles. It aims to make use of solid-state batteries with a 400-mile range for each car. Number 4. Terrafugia TFX Remember when you were a kid and you'd sketch out futuristic cars that you thought would be cool if they were real? You may have even drawn one that could fly. Well, now, those childhood drawings are coming to life. In 2015, it was announced that the Terrafugia TFX flying car would be something we could all purchase. Well, if we had over 200,000 pounds to spare, of course. Terrafugia is also the company behind the 2012 transition car plane, so we know they mean business. Their TFX has a plug-in hybrid powertrain that powers both its wheels on the ground, then the electrically driven rotors while it's flying. It can perform vertical takeoffs and landings too, which means you don't have to invest in a landing strip for your backyard. According to Terrafugia, the TFX has a 500 mile range, but they haven't stated its cruising speed. Though their first model could cruise at 100 miles an hour for 410 miles, courtesy of its 99 brake horsepower Rotax aircraft engine. On the road, that same engine gets around 35 miles to the gallon. Development was supposed to take between 8 and 12 years, which puts us right into 2021. If I had 200,000 pounds to spare, that's almost 300,000 US dollars, I would be so excited to get my hands on one of these. Bye bye, rush hour traffic. Number 3 Audi PB18 e tron. The Audi PB18 e tron was a real head turner at the Monterey Car Week in 2018. even though it was just a concept car. The all-electric supercar looked to be a weapon, and there were probably quite a few people who were keen to get their hands on it. Well, now they can. In 2019, it was announced that 50 of them would be made, which meant 50 lucky people could be driving around in a limited edition Audi with some of the many innovative features they saw at the car event. As is quite often the case, not all features shown off at the car show will make it into production. The concept had three electric motors to produce 671 horsepower and 612 pound-feet of torque. These helped it to hit 62 miles an hour in two seconds. It was unknown if that would be the case with the actual production version. Audi eventually promises a solid-state battery with a 95 kilowatt-hour capacity, but technology has not entirely caught up to their dreams. Still. Even if many of the concept car's features aren't available, you're not exactly going to be disappointed driving this beast out of your garage. Number 2. Rolls-Royce Vision Next 100 Car manufacturing's getting just a little bit out of control. I mean, just look at this Rolls-Royce Vision Next 100 futuristic concept that was unveiled in 2016. To be fair to Rolls-Royce, there was a reason why they designed this outrageous concept vehicle. It was to celebrate the 100th year of Rolls-Royce's parent company, BMW. Let's unpack what we've got here. 
The Vision Next 100 is an electric car with lightweight carbon fiber, a zero emissions drivetrain, two 250 kilowatt electric motors, and 28 inch wheels with chromed spokes and individual guards. According to Rolls Royce, everything from the body design to the wheelbase can be tailored to suit each customer's needs. Phew, because I'd be asking for a complete redesign if it were me. The Next 100 is shorter than the Phantom, but it still has enough room for two bench seats that look like sofas. That's right, there's no dedicated driver's seat. In fact, there's no steering wheel or instruments fixed in place either. The only instrument you'll see is a clock in the window. Everything else looks a bit like a fancy living room with macassar wood, silk upholstery, and hand-twisted silk flooring. Number 1. Mercedes Vision EQ Silver Arrow if you want to look like a race car driver and feel like a race car driver, then the Mercedes-Benz Vision EQ Silver Arrow is probably going to grab your eye. It was unveiled at Pebble Beach in California at the Monterey Car Week event. Because it has one seat, it's no family car, but it is a beautifully aesthetic vehicle nonetheless. It also features a variety of exquisite materials like polished aluminum, genuine leather, and solid walnut. The cockpit is digital and it has a touchscreen in the steering wheel, so it's equal parts old school luxury and futuristic. Even the paint is something special, with multiple layers of alu beam silver sprayed over the carbon fiber. There's simply no single feature that holds your attention. They all do. The folding driver cockpit, freestanding multi-spoke wheels, non-rotating hubcaps, there's so much to enjoy. It also doesn't hurt that the Silver Arrow was a nod towards the record-breaking W125 car back in 1937. There are subtle features here and there that take you back several decades. What an utterly delightful car. These vehicles have me looking at my own, wondering why it has to be so boring. I'd love to have a flying family car or a one-seater record-breaking car. If you had to design your dream vehicle, what would it look like? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.